Aid a precarious situation as Syria is dealing with the terrible impact of the earthquake. Scores of people have perished and it's harrowing experience for those who are still searching, hoping to find their loved ones alive in the rubble. Immediately after the earthquake, uh, there was an emergency uh, cabinet being held in order to uh, give responsibilities for each ministries there in Syria. But in Syria, unfortunately, we, can, we don't have the luxurious to have uh, this uh, statement of emergency because we are already in a very difficult situation. So it was, I can say it's a crisis inside a crisis. So it's very hard, devastating, but it makes it worse. What has compounded the situation in Syria has to be the 11 year long civil war and the sanctions imposed by the West. Syrian ambassador to the United Nations has made it very clear that any outside assistance for earthquake victims must be done in coordination with Damascus and delivered from within Syria and not across the Turkish border. Syrian government is ready to help, to support any countries who wanted to provide the shelters, the food supply, the medications to the Syrians anywhere in Syria, we can uh, help, we can support, we can work with. So I think uh, the possibility is there as uh, we have uh, Aleppo airport receiving uh, uh, humanitarian assistance and uh, the uh, crossing point it's not far, it's like 40 kilometers from the airport. So I think it's, it's possible and the government committed to do so. Syrians have also made it very clear to the international community to set aside the coercive sanctions. The sanctions make, uh, makes everything more difficult. So for Syrians, it's not only now, it's, yeah, it's very difficult for, uh, be, because of the earthquake, but uh, as sanctions goes on since long time, it makes, it hardens the situation. It makes the uh, humanitarian aids to come to Syria more difficult. Practically, it's very difficult because of the lack of the machineries, the heavy machineries. Some of the areas in Syria affected include Aleppo, Hama and others. A number of countries such as Algeria, UAE, Iran, Iraq and Egypt have sent humanitarian aid and they're encouraging more countries to assist. We hope from South Africa to have a look into the situation in their eyes and in their hearts to help all Syrians without any discrimination against any uh, here or there and to, to be I, I mean, South Africa is a, friend, a friendly country and we count on South Africa all the time. We, we consider South Africa as a very close friend. Meanwhile, search and rescue missions have descended into Turkey to assist and unfortunately the death toll continues to rise.